Hi everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this really pretty card. Um, to make this card I used this stamp set, Everything is Rosy. This isn't mine. This is my upliners and she's let me use it. Let me have a little play. So, and this is what I've made with it. I do make a few with this. So watch out. My leaf sticking up. Um, to make this card, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter. Oh no, 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 it's not temp one. Um, half a A4 at cut at four and one eighth. So this is eleven and three quarters, I think, ours by four and one eighth, and it's going to open that way. I have a white piece of cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on the inside. Nope. Start again. I do have a cut piece and that will go on the inside. And then I have a pick of piece of melon mambo at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And a piece of five and a half by three and three quarters of white cardstock to go on top of that. I have a piece of designer series paper at um, an inch and a half, and it should be five and three quarters, five and a half, sorry, but I haven't cut that down, so we'll trim that down. And I've got some scrap here for the flowers and the leaves. I haven't got another one of these sentiment shapes. So I did cut out one from, I actually cut out two in case I make a mistake, from uh, the dies from Lily Lake Pad or Lily Pad Lake. So and I use the die from that, which will fit that congratulations quite well. So to get started, let's stamp our flowers and our leaves. Right. Our flowers are melon mambo, and we want two of these. I am just stamping them. I have already cut them out, so they're already cut out, and my yellow cloth is actually soaking in the sink because it was covered in night and navy ink, so I'll take that off, and I've got a bowl of bleach at the side of me. Right. So that is two Melon Mambo. I need Night and Navy for the leaves. And we need two of these. Someone did ask on one of my videos where I stamped and I said I'd cut them out later off screen. Look at that. Off screen, which I will do. And then I pop them into a box I've got, which I call maybe one day later. <laughs> you know, I'll go to that box, see what I've got, make some cards out of what I've got out and kept. Or if my sister comes to visit, she takes a lot. The one from Northern Ireland. She could she come when she comes to visit me, she gets all my scraps, uses all my punches and dies and takes them back and her and her granddaughter make loads of cards. So what else did I do on this? Oh, I know what I did and didn't get out is a tiny dot one for the centre of the cards. Of the flower, should I say? 
and the ones I cut out haven't got it on either. Covered in blue ink now, trying to get that off and pop it in the bleach. Right, so I'll finish with that. Back to the melon mambo. And with our tag for our sentiment and stamp it in melon mambo. And we use the word congratulations, and that's not very straight. That's better. Looked like the stamp had a like a bend in it. There we are. Excess ink off and pop it in the bridge. By the time I finish this card, they'll be all nice and clean, ready to be rinsed. See the flowered one? Where is it? That's the leaf one. There's the flower. Here it is. See how clean it's come up. Just been in the bleach for a little bit. So, I oh know. Bleach on my hands, not good for you. If I thought that I'd never clean, because I clean a lot with bleach. Right, I'll pop that aside, and there are my leaves and my, oh no, the flowers are my leaves, and my sentiment. I also used this die here and cut out in the bronze foil paper. That isn't that pretty and delicate. And I also used with this tiny die here, I cut out two little, well you can't see them, delicate leaves, which I use. So let's put this card together. Right, I'll stick this blue piece. On here. And then we'll trim that on. No, no, forgot. Right, this bit's got to go on. What am I like? lucky. Right, what you're meant to do is stick this bit to the paper before you stick the paper down. And I didn't do that. Right, then we're going to stick this on the melon member. Oh, 
like that. And then we're going to stick this on our card base. on the inside. That's it. And then, oh, I never stamped. I also stamped a little pink flower, which I forgot about. Stamp this in powder pink and that will go there. There on dimensionals and there on dimensionals. No, that's on dimensionals. These are glued down like that. But we need to put these on dimensional for first so I know where to put them. on each one and then three on the centre right we're going to stick this one there This one there, and they'll be glued in under there. These little tiny bronze ones, I've lost one, I need to find it. What I did is just sat them on top of the leaves. Where's the other one? Hmm. Found it. On the floor. and stick that down there and then this goes across the bottom drink. Mm. Well, and that will go in my box as well. Right, I've also got some of these gems from Katie. Right, what I'm going to do is put two this side and one this side. Right, once I've got them down, you just peel off. It's got they've got a protective cover on them. Just a very thin plastic cover. And you peel them off. I think it's just to protect them and stop them from getting battered and scratched and So 
that's my card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.